And here is the Writer's Almanac for Saturday, the 1st of June, 2019. It's the birthday of Marilyn Monroe, born Norma Jean Mortensen in Los Angeles, 1926, passed around between her mother and foster parents as a child, eventually wound up with her mother's friend Grace McKee, who loved movies, worshipped movie stars, dressed the little girl like the women she saw in movies, took her to beauty parlors, had her practice smiles and pouts in the mirror. The girl lived for a while in an orphanage and could look out the window and see the water tower of RKO Studios. Spent several years moving around between distant relatives and friends of the family. Told other children at school that her parents had died in a car accident. After she went through puberty, men started honking their horns at her and waving. She said the whole world became friendly. She was married at 16 during World War II, got a job at an aircraft factory factory called Radio Plane. She sprayed glue on fabrics. And there, while she was working, a group of photographers came up to take pictures of women working for the war effort, saw her, persuaded her to become a model. She bleached her hair. She began to appear as a cover girl. Got her big break in the musical Gentlemen Prefer Blondes, 1953. She lived just nine more years after that big success. And she's been the subject of more than 300 biographies, a fictional biography by Norman Mailer. Joyce Carol Oates wrote a novel about her, Blonde. Bill Morris wrote a fictional version of her wedding day with Joe DiMaggio called Motor City. Marilyn Monroe, who said... I don't want to make money. I just want to be wonderful. It's the birthday of Charles K. Ogden, born Fleetwood in Lancashire, England in 1889, who wrote a paper in 1923 called The Meaning of Meaning, exploring the psychological and philosophical underpinnings of language, and then worked on what he called basic English. Basic stood for British American Scientific International Commercial, a simplified English-based language of 850 core words designed for international uses. He translated James Joyce's Finnegan's Wake into basic English, which doesn't sound like James Joyce, but James Joyce himself was fascinated by what Ogden had done. It was on this day, 1974, Henry J. Heimlich published his Heimlich Maneuver in the Journal of Emergency Medicine. The American Red Cross still recommends it, recommends the five and five approach. Five sharp blows to the back, followed by five abdominal thrusts if the back blows are not effective. And it's the birthday of the neuroscientist and writer Colleen McCullough, born in Wellington, Australia, 1937, studied neuropsychology in Sydney, got a job as a research associate at Yale. She was pretty happy there for about 10 years, and then she discovered that her male colleagues were making twice as much money as their female counterparts. She said, I loved being a neurophysiologist, but I didn't want to be a 70-year-old spinster in a cold-water walk-up flat with one 60-watt light bulb, which is what I could see as my future. And so she turned her hand to writing. And her second novel came out in 1977, The Thorn Birds, an international sensation, sold more than 30 million copies. She quit her job, moved back to Australia, and wrote more than 20 books afterward. Here's a poem for today by Michael T. Young, Advice from a Bat. Hunt only at night, fly erratically, defy even your own expectations, feed on beetles, moths, and mosquitoes, whatever is small and annoying. Cultivate the myths about you until every predator fears your legend. When hunting be guided by a language only you can hear. The same is true when courting the one you love. Clean fangs and fur nightly. Crawl or climb to confuse the observant. Retreat to a cave no one believes in. 
Let the day and the world pass while you sleep and sleep upside down, ready to wake and fall into flight. Advice from a bat, Michael T. Young, from his collection The Infinite Doctrine of Water, published by Terrapin Books and used by permission here on The Writer's Almanac. Be well, do good work, and keep in touch. <laughs>